Well, NASA says they're about 98% sure that it was part of an asteroid. You can judge for yourself. Take a look at this little snippet of video that someone in Southern California uh, shot and posted on YouTube. Unfortunately, they don't have the video up that long, but it's clearly a fireball in the sky. It uh, happened around 7.30, 7.45 over Southern California, also seen in Nevada and Arizona. Hey, what's up, Facebookers? Um, I want to start off by showing you these two images. Um, the first one is of the student union at San Jose State University, where I go. I rarely go eat there, and I went this week, and I just remember why I don't like to eat there. One, it's because it's too noisy. I can't eat at a place that's too noisy. Uh, second of all, uh, most of the tables were taken by people that were doing their homework. You know, hey, if you gotta do your homework go to the library you know people gotta go to the cafeteria to go eat and the last thing they want to do is, is look around for an available seat if you look at this other image this guy is taking a whole table by himself to do homework and if you look around him nobody's sitting around him so people please if you're gonna do your homework go to the library leave the cafeteria for the people who want to eat this is my second episode and we're gonna answer questions that the ladies have for the guys uh, also introducing my co-host for tonight, Lucho. Lucho. Hello. The first question, we're not gonna say names, but the first question goes: How is it? How is it easy for guys to turn off their feelings, emotions, just like that? Already, you started off, man. It's your show. Um. Why? Because we may have two brains in our heads. And they're not well connected. All right. <clears throat> okay. So my response for that question, I don't think it's necessarily easy. It's harder for a male to to. Um, I don't think it's necessarily easy uh, to turn off our feelings and emotions just like that because we all we're all human beings. We all feel. So a good answer for that would be that we don't turn them off. We just are really good at hiding our emotions because um, in the world that we live in it's not right for a man to be seen as if he's weak and a sign of weakness can be showing those feelings and emotions so um, it's just I guess if there's a way to answer it it's just being a man you know you don't want to be feeling as if you're like if you're not a man it's just kind of like the whole emasculinity type of subject when it comes to girls talking about guys um, you know just making fun of them in ways that would hurt their manhood so uh, we do have feelings we do have emotions we're just very well at hiding them we may have two brains in our heads and they're not well connected okay so right now we're gonna answer the second question and it goes do guys have guy talk I mean intimate uh, with detail talk yeah do guess Guess what? Uh, remember, remember Patty from from like high school, dude. Uh, I saw her last week, and you know we 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 went out to a bar, and next thing you know we're walking, and she just pulls down my zipper, and dude, you know it's just awesome because it's just like it, it's just like in the movies, man. It happened to me. It felt like I was in a porno. You just gave yourself out on. It. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, um, I think it it comes uh it comes to a, a type of thing where you have to let someone know um, it goes back to the whole man thing it's just we men have two brains in our heads and they're not well connected it's just part of being a man you, you're gonna be proud to some people or most guys it's like oh look I did this thing with that thing with with that thing with that lady with that girl um, and yeah I mean we we all we're all curious so we all wanna know it's the same reason why you ladies probably go around having the intimate talk as you say in the question so I mean why wouldn't why wouldn't why would we be not able to have that conversation I think um, I can't go too much into details into what we talk about but I don't know it's just the type of talk that if women have like of course us men on our pride we are gonna have with other guys oh shit let's get back to the question Okay, so our last question is, why once in a relationship 
do the turning to homebodies I want to be at home all day because um, I think it's because we don't have the need to go out there and um, look for, for new mates um, once you feel comfortable with a person you just want to stay at home because you know if you really love your lady you wouldn't mind staying just at home with your lady because she's there with you uh, there's no need to have to keep showing off mm, there's not one single or complete answer for that question um, I think just to add a little something in there into why maybe us guys go into being homebodies after we're in a relationship is because um, and it depends on the guy's time too on the timing but I would say that once one of us ends up doing that for a girl it's kinda cuz we're settling in um, and I don't know I mean and settling in in the sense where like you know you're we're, my boy. yeah uh, Blue, you're my boy. and then the, the type of thing where you just I mean you care about the person enough to start thinking about something more serious than just like a boyfriend girlfriend relationship so it can be like maybe marriage or something or he's trying to see where it's at or maybe he's just that comfortable um, but I would think that a guy only does that when he he's finally settling in with a girl so um, I don't know I mean I don't think girls have a reason to feel bad about it and I don't know maybe what your experience was with that uh, situation but um, I I don't know, I would think it would be a good sign if, if I started settling in with, with my girl, then it would just be a, another sign just to let her know that I'm, I'm, you know, where I'm trying to go with her. So I think that's just one perspective. There's probably more answers to that question, just that it's too, it's kind of like a broad type of thing. Yeah. All right, so uh, that concludes our, my second episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to give a round of applause for Lucho for coming here. Uh, he'll be a, a um, consistent co-host. Uh, we're always thinking of crazy things that we should talk about. Um, if anything, um, like the way Lalo did with his posts, um, if you guys have any questions that you guys would probably want us to answer for the fun of it, even if it's something, I don't know, really funny. It could be stu I mean, it could be down serious to what what's the meaning of life, and you know, whatever. But yeah, uh, post any any questions on on my fa my Facebook page. Uh, if anything, once in a while, I'll ask a question, and we'll answer some of those questions. And yeah, you know, this is us signing out. Peace out. We may have two brains in our heads, and they're not well connected.